It's sunny! Wahoo! Good morning, global citizens. Hope you're having a great day. Today is a day off for me, of the job. I only worked one day and now we get a day off. I like this. So, I'm gonna take this opportunity to have a full, jam-packed, tourist checkout everything I can day. As you know, I don't lift weights anymore, but I try to, you know, do my push-ups and my pull-ups, and whenever I'm in a hotel, I think it's fun to go back to my weightlifting days, so I'm gonna go lift some freaking weights, make some gains, come on, come on! I don't have many gains anymore. I slept 11 hours, by the way. <laughs> That's how tired I was from just like everything in life. I could have slept more. That was a fun, low-key session, just about 40 minutes, and I did some abs and stuff. I can tell, one, how weak I am in terms of my strength. I mean, weak's a relative term. I just ran 10 miles yesterday. I couldn't do that two years ago when I was lifting. But I mean, like, musk, you know, upper body. Time to go carve up on unlimited watermelon. Hope they still have some. Ended up eating four plates of watermelon. That was so good. I'm doing editing work and I can't wait to get out and see this city. Wow, look at all these different types of bamboo. What is that? I think that's tofu. Yeah, look at all that tofu. This is literally my favorite thing right here, is exploring like outdoor markets with like little tchotchkes and food and vegetables. My favorite thing ever. Tungwa. This is the largest squash looking thing I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. Follows the rules in these roads. It's so awesome. Roadside juice, baby. Thank you very much. Nice and pulpy. I've made it into the big city. Just picked up uh, lunch from these very nice ladies. Got a nice ripe rack of, I don't know what these are, but they're gonna be delicious. Shisha, thank you. On the central park of Chengdu, perfect place to enjoy my bananas. So sweet, so good, perfectly ripe. All right, I polished off most of those bananas, got a few left for later. So this is their like city bike share program. And look at this, how cool is this? The tires actually have no air in them. They're made of rubber and they have these holes 
so you don't have to worry about pumping them up, which would be a total hassle with like a city bike system. That is so innovative. All right, I've made it to my first destination. I have no idea how to pronounce where I am, but it's essentially this alleyway that is sort of like uh, stuck in time back, I think probably like a hundred years or even more. It's like an old traditional Chengdu before it was this huge 14 million person city. Quan Xiang Zi Alley? Yeah, they're crazy about pandas here. In just a day or two, I'll be with real pandas. Oh my gosh, those look so good, but I just asked this nice lady if they were vegan because Earthling Rob on YouTube, shout out, you've seen him in the comments, sent me this awesome little thing that pretty much says, hi, I'm vegan, I don't eat, and then it lists like every animal product. And that pineapple rice looks so good, but she, she just shook her head when I showed her this. Uh, so I guess they're not vegan, too bad. These are literally squashes. Amazing. What is this stuff? He's like, it looks like hair texture. I've now made it to the, I think it's pronounced Wenshu Monastery, which is a Buddhist monastery here in the center of the city. I also heard there's a vegan restaurant there and I need to carve up a little bit more. So I made it to the buffet at the Wenshu Temple and this is an all vegan, not even vegetarian, this is all vegan. These are uh, house-made meats that are all vegan. Look at all these fresh vegetables, oh my gosh. And they bring you a hot pot and you cook it yourself. Oh my God, I'm in heaven right now. Oh. Spices in this. They put all these like herbs. Oh my god, so good. And I just went back for more noodles. Oh, I'm sweating. It got so spicy at the end because all the peppers and stuff were concentrated at the bottom. So I got one more bowl of rice to mellow that out. And then I gotta get out of here. I could just keep eating here forever. It's a buffet. I gotta go see this temple. these people what Chinese people are really good at are like sitting around smoking cigarettes playing cards with their friends and they're all getting their ears cleaned these guys come around with like q-tips and needles and they like do all this stuff to their ears I'm guessing it's just some like really cheap cleaning thing and I gotta do it I gotta try it out I've never had my ears cleaned by a stranger before I, I sat down and I'm hanging out with these guys who are uh, telling me all about their culture and uh, he, he's uh, getting his ears cleaned and I'm gonna go after. This is so crazy. This is so weird. It's like acupuncture is poking the ear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So crazy. So crazy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> These guys are laughing at me. 
Cheers. Cheers. So you guys, when I did my yoga teacher training, my teachers, Mike and Charlotte, they they gave us each mala beads just like this. And I haven't had a mala necklace in quite some time because when I was in Colorado, uh, mine broke about a year or two ago. So I just decided from this beautiful woman right here I've been hanging out with to buy this mala for about 20 bucks and support her. She was very, very nice. Uh, and I'm happy to have a mala in my life again. I didn't have one. I love it. the coolest noodle making process I've ever seen. Before hitting up dinner at another vegan restaurant that I want to go to, I want to find a foot massage place. Like, I don't think I'm going to get many days off from work. Today is a typical day of how I would do things when I go to my travel mode of living, which will be in just a few months as I've announced to you guys. But I'm going to be working on set of this film pretty much every day of this trip. So today is my big like go do everything day. So yeah, I'm going to go find a foot massage place to get me back to those Thailand vibes. All right, I found a nice and sketchy looking massage place, which means it's gonna be good. Getting my feet done. Top quality foot massage sesh. She got my calves, my feet, my quads, my hamstrings, and then went on my back and got my neck. This guy wants to see what's going on. Ni hao. Ni hao. <laughs> Hello. Okay, now, goodbye. <laughs> now it is time to find some food. I'm contemplating, should I go to a restaurant, spend more money, or just get some like fruits and some rice and eat that for dinner? I'm not sure, we'll have to see. Guys, I passed by these steam buns and I showed them my little uh, diagram or writing that I don't eat eggs or milk or dairy and stuff and she pulled out a vegan one for me. Yes, steamed buns, amazing. You know what guys, I decided not to go to the vegan restaurant. I, I'm gonna get some street food. So I got the steamed bun, I got a big mango in there. And they gave me this knife for me to cut it. And I have a bowl, a bowl of rice, I'll probably get multiple bowls of rice, and the steamed bun, perfect, perfect. I feel so local. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, mother of God. Oh, this place is getting better and better. I also got the, this edamame, and there's like star anise and chilies in it, but there's like no oil. Just like spiced edamame. Got another rice. I asked those girls over there if they spoke English so I could sit with them and hang out, but they did not speak English. That's the thing with China. I've met almost nobody here that speaks good English, so it's a little bit lonely. All right, I finally met some dudes. Not lonely anymore, hello. What, what is your name? My name is Cody. Tony. Nice, great to meet you. Uh, we are having some food. They got me some uh, vegetarian dishes and the steam bun. I thought it was gonna be sweet, but it's got like vegetables in it. It's still super good, uh, but I want to get a dessert one too. Thank you guys, Shay Shay, for letting me sit here. All right, these dudes uh, have convinced me to come out to the bars. So obviously I don't drink. I'll drink some Sprite or soda or something. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go meet some ladies, right? Ladies. Meet, yeah, he, he said I'm very good looking. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have good results. All right, let's do it. Just have a look. Then we are going to a, a store. Oh yeah. A store. And meet some girls. All right. Yeah. Also, they gave me a Chinese name. My name is Fang. Fang which means rice in China, because I ate uh, all of their rice. All right, we're uh, drinking these fruity drinks. I even had a sip. I can't even taste the alcohol in them. And we're hanging out with these awesome ladies. It's good fun. Literally, I, there might be a drop of alcohol. I can't even taste it. It tastes like guava juice or something. 
I'm back in my hotel room. It's 12.30. What a day, right? <laughs> you know, this trip isn't gonna be too much of that, although who knows, maybe we'll get more days off, but I was just thinking, today was the epitome of how I enjoy to exist, and in the next few months, the, this kind of video is gonna be my everyday reality because I'm gonna be traveling on my own time, on my own schedule, bringing all these amazing experiences and adventures that I take that I really do think I'm good at. Like, a lot of people can't go hit all those sites in the same day and film like that and strike up conversations with random locals and go to bars with them. Like, I enjoy that. I'm good at it. And hopefully you guys get something from watching it. I think you do. Please let me know in the comments below. This is gonna be my reality because you guys support me. The only reason that I'm able to do this is because of people watching my videos, doing online coaching with me, you know, supporting me on Patreon. That's the best way for just a buck a month, $12 a year. If everyone comes together and does that, I will have the funds to be able to take trips like this and just be able to make videos of my life taking adventures on the cheap. I love it. I love it so much. So if you love it too, you know, please support. All the links you need are in the description box below. What an amazing day. Thank you guys for following. And no joke, it's 1230. I gotta wake up at 430 tomorrow. But whatever, because I'm gonna be on a bus for most of the day. We're traveling to somewhere I don't even know, but I love it. I'm living the adventure. This is how I like to exist. Much love, Dream Extreme.